Greetings Rainbow E2 Gold fans. So this machine has a growing history with me. It was donated to the lab a while back and in January of 2019 I did a whole house clean with this particular setup. And if you go back and you find that video, that whole house carpet cleaning video, you will hear that this power nozzle was louder than this canister, at least at certain frequencies. So I'm like, yeah, you know, I did another one of the PN2Es uh, probably about a week ago, and it was a slightly older revision of the PN2E, and its motor was a pain in the butt to go and, well, take apart, put back together again, and it really wasn't designed to be serviceable. The date code on that older PN2E was February of 2005, and I know the PN2E went through several different revisions. This one has a date code that's a couple months newer. It is uh, coded at April of 2005, and guess what? The motor that's in there is completely serviceable, and the bearings are modern, they don't use any kind of weird sleeve bearing that you put some three-in-one oil on or anything like that. They're real bearings and they have rubber end caps, which means they are rebuildable if for some reason you don't want to bother to replace them. So since this nozzle is 15 years old, I figured, yeah, I just bet you it needs some bearing help. And guess what? I was able to successfully rebuild all four of those bearings. That is, two of them that are on the brush roll. You've seen that before in a previous video. And I was able to rebuild two of them in the motor. Now I could replace the two on the motor as well, but they weren't that far gone. So I noticed something. Uh, let's see, this is Wednesday. A few days back, Sunday night, I rebuilt this power nozzle, literally cleaning and regreasing all four bearings. And the greatest thing was is when I was done, I sent Thomas a short little video. Hi Thomas, if you're watching this, you probably are at some point in time. I sent him a little video and the cool thing was is this power nozzle is now quieter than the canister. And that's just a wonderful thing to my ears. So what I'm going to allow you to do here in this video is to use your ears and you can compare between the January 2019 video and now this video, which is, you know, done here in uh, September of 2020, the difference between the old nozzle and the new nozzle. And it's so much nicer to be able to use this and not have it kind of like really blow my ears out. So I'm just going to do a couple of small snippets really just for your ears. Of course I like the fact that I found the tools and the tool caddy go along with it.
separate lines. night mode. So why would I bother with night mode? So you could actually use your ears rather than your eyes to listen to all the sounds that this setup makes now. things is 
after you do the refurbishment, right in here is where you feel motor heat. And this now is just warm to the touch. It's no longer hot. That's because the bearings are doing their job. How about we take a look at this dirt? And you should know that the dirt that you see here represents 1,200 square feet. So that's all I can possibly do with this for carpet. So this power nozzle is short enough, low enough, that I can go underneath absolutely everything. Okay, so how about I grab the fibrous material, because I don't want that to go down the tub. So there's that big pile of fibrous material. Squeeze it down there. And I think that's, yeah, I guess that's, that's good enough. Okay. Come on. There we go. So take a look at that. All right, so let's see what it looks like spread out in the tub. There we go. Isn't that yummy? <laughs> Look at all that. Look at all that stuff. Jeez. All right. Thanks for watching.